Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. My name's Chase, and today we're gonna to be going over a feature of your raw and freshwater pump that you may or may not know about. All right guys, so today we're in the bilge of the 282. We have the raw water pump and the freshwater pump on both the port and starboard side of the bilge. Now these pumps are equipped with a sea strainer on the inlet side of the pump. Now what that strainer does is catch any debris before entering the pump. So for instance, your raw water pump is pulling from the live well pump, which is actually connected straight to a through hole through the bottom of the boat. Now if you were to run over any seagrass, any seaweed, any other sorts of debris that would enter, it would go straight into the pump if it weren't for the strainer. So this strainer is something to look at and to be mindful of as you use your boat in those kind of conditions. So for instance, you can go in very easily and go into the bilge, Simply unscrew this filter, it'll slide off, and you'll see a metal strainer right on the interior. Now you can pull this out, any debris, grass, anything that's in there, you can pull it out, maybe rinse it out with a hose, and put it all right back together. This will set right back down into the pump. Inserting it right in the center, slide your strainer over it, and simply thread it back onto the pump. You can do that same process for the port side for the freshwater pump. Now the freshwater pump is not gonna have as many contaminants in it, obviously because it is pulling from the tanks, but just in case you were to get some polluted water or some funky fresh water in there for whatever reason, um, this would stop any of those contaminants from entering the freshwater system. All right guys, thanks for watching this quick video on a great tip that could add some longevity to both your fresh and raw water pumps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, like and subscribe, and if you have anything that you guys would like to see, please email us at the address listed below. We'll see you next time.